Okay, so uh, we're going to just do this uh, little mini lesson on um, how phospholipids uh, work. So let's start with the structure. And, you know, here's like the typical picture of what you might see a phospholipid look like with this polar head and a tail, two tails actually, that are nonpolar. Okay, so polar, what polar means is that it um, has some sort of charge or an unbalance of charge. And uh, hydrophilic means that hydro water philia means to love, so it loves water. So this part here likes to be in water all the time. Over here, nonpolar, so if the, if the polar means it has some sort of charge or unbalance in its charge, nonpolar means it's generally neutral or symmetrical. Um, you don't know too much about that, but. And hydrophobic means that it fears water, so it tries to avoid water at all costs. So how do we get from here? So I'm gonna put this off to the side here and bring in, um, first off, we have a couple of uh, these things are called fatty acids. Actually, I'm gonna move this off altogether. So these are three fatty acids right there. And um, I also want to include Besides these three fatty acids is also this glycerol molecule up here. So we have a little reaction that takes place where the OH on one and the H on another are removed to form water. And in the process, these bind. Okay. And then same thing over here. Take this OH, combine it with this H right here. It will form water. our second water right up there and we have another bonding here and then again here's this OH and this H they'll come together to form water and now what we have is this what's called a triglyceride and we have three waters okay so triglyceride that's you probably what you find in most of your fats but you know that's you're saying to yourself well this has three tails and you know this other structure you know we had before this had two, so what happens is we have a um, phosphate head, and it is exa isn't exactly just a phosphate, it's usually an additional part here, but there's phosphorus with all these oxygens in red, and we again will have another one of these reactions take place. This takes a spot there, this will reform that, and now you have this very polar very polar head and two nonpolar tails. Try to fit it in the picture there. So if you can imagine, I'm just gonna place this right on top of it. There's the two tails, there's the head, there's the head, here's the two tails. Okay?